Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do an unboxing of a tool that I just bought. But before we get into that, I just wanna say real quick that if you go to my Printify store in the description, we have new G Automotive and More sweatshirts with the Rustang on the back. So just go check out my Printify store in the description. So let's go ahead and open this fine box up from Amazon and I will show you what I bought. I bought a bore scope that it supposedly has a bendable head. It's my made by, I'm not even gonna try to say that. Would you care to try, G Junior? DXZ Tot. Okay, that sounds good. All right, so we'll get this out of the way. And um, we are going to see, the problem is we have a bore scope at work, but the problem, oh, it's got a very a nice, nice case. Carry. Yeah, very nice case. The problem with the bore scope that we have at work is that the camera is fixed. So when you when you put it down into a hole, you can't move the camera around to look around. You can only see what's in front of the camera, and most of the time, that is not what you want to look at. So this one here is supposed to have a bendable camera. I have not opened this up at all before so there is the screen which I know we're gonna have to probably charge up so we might have to come back so then you have the bore scope this is oh wow it's got a super super long cable that is let's see I am 62 so that's about six feet long wouldn't you say yeah I'm about so and I did hear on the instructions that you were supposed to take and have this cable unwrapped before you try to get this to bend. So let's take and try it because I do believe it. Oh, it's mechanical. It's got like a control. Oh, look at this. And it can go oh, wow, it's mechanical. all the way so you can look behind you. What an excellent tool. That is going to be so good. Let me go ahead and put the screen on. All right, up, and then you turn this to lock it. So now that is locked. It's got to have a little bit of power on it. So let me go ahead. I'm just guessing here. Let's go ahead and push this to power it up. Up, oh, it powered up. Oh, let's see. It's the lights on. Let's see. Let's turn. Are we backwards? We're backwards. Let's. Of course, the camera's not really picking it up, but it looks like it's got a very good picture. Very good picture. And then, if we want to turn one way or the other, we can turn it. And look, there's G Jr. with the camera. Oh, this thing is excellent. And actually, the battery is like three-quarter. It's got a battery um, life right there, and it's three quarters, and then you can put an SD card in it, so you can obviously take pictures of things. Oh, this is going to be excellent. Um, is there something that we could... I don't know. It's like we don't have anything planned out, but just look how good that thing turns. Wow. It turns all the way back on itself. So you... That is excellent. So... So far, everybody, the picture looks excellent in it. Let's, uh, um, can we, oh, here, we'll, we'll, let's do this. Let's uh, pull the box out. So here is the box. So you can obviously read the label on the box. There is the model number. This camera is excellent. You can move it side to side, bore scope. What an excellent tool. You can pick these up on Amazon. Look at that, whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this tool. Like I said, the only thing that you gotta be careful of is you do not wanna have the cable wrapped up when you're moving the head because supposedly it's really easy to break the cables in here. All right, everybody. Well, there is our d Um uh, Articulating borescope. It looks very good. It actually looks better than the other one that I already have at work. And oh, let's take a look. Why? Well, before we get out of here, let's see. It also has 
another zip package and all right yeah it's got your normal things your bore scope would have if i can figure out how to get into the box child proof child proof all right it has a little brush for cleaning it has a usb charge charger. cord it's got lens cleaning cloth more microfiber towels okay what and is this? Oh, this is really cool you've never seen this in the other one no this is actually one there's a mirror in one so you look at it at different degrees yeah so that has a mirror that does not look that good but it's a mirror yeah it's kind of hard to pick it up yeah on the camera. there's a mirror in there and i just scratched it with my with my shirt that is pretty crappy really did that thing scratch <laughs> up that easy oh my god i just used a clean shirt to try to wipe it and it scratched it well i never use these anyway but Oh, and then it's got a hook. So this can, must be able to screw on to the end. So if there's something in there that you want to remove, you can hook it and pull it out. And this one, I have no idea what the heck this one's for. Well, anyway, it's got some accessories, but I'll tell you what. I'm very disappointed in that because it's scratched so easily. Does it have a piece of... Oh, it's got a piece of film on it, right? Let me... Yeah, it's got a protective oh. film on it. Okay. So it's got a, okay, okay, I take it back. I take it back. It's got a protective film on it. Let's get the protective film off it. I can't believe that my shirt actually scratched the protective film. Okay, so that mirror looks pretty good. So what you can do is this screws on to the end. You can unscrew this cap and this screws onto the end so you can get a different look at something. Hey, look, I'm looking at, it's looking at us. All right, so that's what that is for. So uh, the mirror seems to be okay now that I took the plastic film off. You have a hook. I wonder if this hook is, okay. Oh, that's what this one is. This one, I think, is a magnet. Yes. So if you have something metal stuck in there that you want to pick up, pick up. Oh, that's really cool. That's what you use. So it's kind of hard. I don't know. How would you be able to see what you were going down to pick up when you, when that is right in the way? But anyway, so anyway, it has some accessories. They look very good. Uh, the hook. Now, how am I going to get all of these back in here? How did they all fit in this little? Oh, well, I just opened up a can of worms. I have no idea how all these things fit in here. I'm going to have to go back on the video and figure out how these things were stacked because it's still not right. All right. Well, unbelievable. How did I mess this up? I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. Actually, we're just going to put it right back in there with everything, all the accessories back in here. So it has all the accessories. It has instructions. It's got this nice case. It has instructions. Here are the instructions. I can do better. Thank you for choosing our brand. And there's the user manual. So, yes, it can articulate 180 degrees. Um, great. All right, everybody. I thought I would just do a real quick one on this new bore scope I got. I really like it. How long has this video gone? It has gone almost 10 minutes. So anyway, so it's very light. I think I would definitely pick one of these up if you need something to go down into cylinders to look around. I think that is a very, very good camera. Um, most of them, the, you know, I could read the prime. You know, I'm looking at the box and I'm a good foot away from the box. So... All right, everybody. Well, there you have it. This is the articulating industrial bore scope that I got on Amazon at a very reasonable price. Um, I think it's going to come in very handy, especially since it can articulate 180 degrees. So I'm going to leave it here. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. You can always do that in that corner there. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my automotive 
videos and my tool videos. And be sure you go and check out my Printify store to go check out the new Rustang sweatshirt.